Good afternoon and welcome to Frank's Math House. You know, I'll do trig, I'll do algebra, I'll even do statistics, but graphing is where I draw the line. Today we're going to talk about uh, creating a graph of the linear equation 5x plus 2y is equal to 20. This line is a set of all coordinates of x and y's that will satisfy the relationship that we have right here. But to make things simpler, we'll do a table with a bunch of x values in it and then find the corresponding y value based on this relationship. But first, to make things easier, we're going to solve for y. So let's go ahead and get started. And so in order to get rid of the 5x, well, we have to subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. And that leaves us now with 2y is equal to 20 minus 5x. So now we've got to get rid of the 2 on this side. So we divide by 2, both sides by 2. And what we have now is y is equal to 10 minus 5 over 2 x. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and, and rewrite this. Give me a quick second. And so now we have the equation y is equal to 10 minus 5 halves x. So let's go ahead and create some values for x. And y is a function for x. And here we have y is equal to 10 minus 5 halves x. So let's just choose some simple values here with x at 0. And then if we solve for y, it'll be 10 minus 5 halves times 0 times 0, which gives us the value of 10, right, because 0 times 5 is 0. Okay, so the next value we'll go ahead and choose, just for sim simplicity's sake, is 2. And once again, solving, that's 10 minus 5 halves times 2. So the 2's cancel out. And 10 minus 5 is 5. So your value for y is 5. And the last value that we'll choose is for x is 4. And then if we solve, y is equal to 10 minus 5 halves times 4. Okay. So here in the denominator, 2 goes into 2 one time, and in the numerator, 2 goes into 4 two times. Whoops, 2. So 2 times 5 is 10. So 10 minus 10 is 0. So the values here is 0. So we, here we have the coordinates for x and y, 0 and 10, 2 and 5, and 4 and 0. So if we were to plot this, we have our y and our x. So we'll just choose values here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And here we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 will be at the very top here. So our first coordinate is 0 
for x and y is 10. So that's our first coordinate there. Our second one is 2 and then we go up 5. That's our second coordinate. And so all you really need is just two points for a line. But because we have, we've already worked out the third one here, we'll go ahead and add that. So we'll go across 1, 2, 3, 4. And now for to draw a straight line, I'm going to do this by hand. But so here we have our straight line. And so this line is a representation of y is equal to 2 minus 5 halves x. So what is the importance of learning how to graph? Well, let's take a let's take an example of something that now you all as high school students figuring you'll get to have a trip to Europe later on. Okay. So everybody take out your graph paper. And so we're going to pretend that we're going on a trip to Europe. And you need to change your dollars to euros. So at the airport, the service costs $3 just to use it uh, basically. And for every additional dollar, you get five euros. So we're going to make a table for this and plot this function on a graph. So the way this works is, so the base cost is for every X amount of dollars, dollars, they charge you a base fee of three dollars. So just to start off with, for every dollar you spend, they're going to charge you three dollars. So, but for every dollar we also spend, we'll get 0.5 euros. So that's represented here. And so now euros is equal to 0.5 dollars minus three. So let's go ahead and set up a table. Oops. It's a little crooked where this, here you have your dollars and here are your euros. So for example, if you wanted just to change three dollars here, it really wouldn't do you any good because they're already charging you an automatic three dollars. So putting this into the equation, you would actually get Zero, zero euros. But let's say now we're going to plot a few, a few uh, coordinates here. A few. So we're going to change ten dollars to euros, and so ten minus three is seven times 0 0.5 will give you three point five euros. And now we'll do twenty dollars. So. 20 minus 3 is 17 and times 0.5 I'll give you a second to work that out that's 8.5 8.5 and lastly we'll do it for $30 and $30 minus 3 is 27 and 27 times 0.5 I'll give you a second to work that out is 13.5. So now if we were to graph this, this is your x function and this is your y function. Let's just go ahead and erase this so we have more room on our board.
And so for the amount of dollars we have, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and over here towards the end, it'll be 50. 50. And for our y, it's also 10 and 20 and 30. So with you and your, with your graphing paper, it'll be drawn a little bit more to scale. So your $3, this is the value, let's mark this, this is value, 10, 20, 30, and this is, this is dollars. And these are euros. And this is 10, this is 20, and this is 30. So for three dollars that you would spend, that would be that's half of this five, so it'd be about three dollars, and then you would pretty you wouldn't get anything because you're at zero, so that's one of the your points here. For the next one, you would spend ten dollars, you would get about three point five dollars. So here you go, and we're starting to plot now. The next value is $20, and you'd get 8.5, so that's just slightly, slightly above the 10 mark, or below the 10 mark. And then for $30, you would get 13.5. And then we just draw the line, connecting the dots, and that's a little off there, but this is freehand, but you with your graph paper there, it'll be a little bit more, more straight here. So the value in this is that you can see the relationship between the amount of dollars and the amount of euros you spent. So you can continue this. If we continued the graph, you'd pretty much get a value and get an estimate. So you wouldn't have to work out the problems anymore. And you can pretty much see approximately for $50, you would get uh, somewhere around $23, $23 dollars more or less. And that and that concludes our fun house for today. Thank you.